Ladies and gentlemen, it is not Saturday Night Vlog, nah, it's just Funko News, Funko News, but uh, yeah, I may share some other information in this video, in fact, I am going to share some other information in this video, but I guess the reason I'm saying may is because I'm going to have most of it at the end, so if you're just here for Funko News, you know, that will all be pretty much up here at the front, and then for the rest of you that want some channel updates and, you know, some other information, that will be at the very end of the video. So yeah, this is mainly about Funko News, but before I get into Funko News, I am going to give a quick shout out here to Ari of Geek Girl World. Now, if you're not familiar with Geek Girl World, on this channel, Ari really is the main content creator. There are other ladies on there as well, but Ari posts on a regular basis. She'll do multiple videos a day sometimes, and she does unboxings, reaction videos, she does some tech talk. You know just some some real talk in general so a lot going on on her channel and like I said she's very dedicated very motivated and it takes a lot of work to post videos daily especially multiple videos daily so really dedicated youtuber and um, I want definitely want you to check out that channel and the reason I'm giving Ari a shout out is because I was uh, put a comment on one of her videos recently and she responded back letting me know that she and her husband they watch my Funko News videos on a regular basis and they really look at me as a good source of information for what's going on with Funko and that means a lot to me because it, it you know comments like that just give me that motivation to keep up with doing these videos which do require a lot of work I know in some ways they may look simple but trust me it's, it's a lot of work to get this all together so sometimes I kind of need that motivation and maybe even that little kick in the pants to keep going with it so I really do appreciate that Ari that means a lot to me so yeah if you're not familiar with Geek Girl World you should be you know so I'm gonna put a link down in the description to the YouTube channel and you may want to check out their website as well there is a Geek Girl World website but definitely check out the channel and give them a subscribe if you haven't and Ari and Geek Girl World, I gotta say big congratulations to them. They recently celebrated 9,000 subscribers and now they're over 10,000 already. I mean, it was really back to back. They got there quickly. So, and it looks like the channel is still growing very rapidly and is so well deserved. So, yeah, big shout out to Ari again for that motivation. I really do appreciate it. Now, getting into the actual Funko news here. The Funko Shop is still running there 12 days of Christmas, but it's almost done. It's almost wrapped up. I already shared the first three items with you last time, so just quickly here. They had Stitch from Lilo and Stitch, dressed as Santa Claus. They had the Flocked Super Grover, and then the, excuse me, the Happy Holidays Freddy Funko. These three are still available at the time of this recording. And as a matter of fact, all of these items are still available except for one at the time of this recording. And I will address that when I get to it. Okay, so some other figures they had available here for days four through six. They had the Christmas Batman Dorbs. They had the Super Freddy Funko, which they've had a Super Freddy Funko before, but this one is glow in the dark. And then this, uh, I guess they would call it a deluxe Freddy Funko vinyl figure there. They had a Freddy Bot version of him. Then they also had a Hikari of Freddy Funko with the Christmas colors of course the coloring on there does look pretty cool and that one is somewhat limited 500 like I said at the time of this recording it was still available but I know there are some Hikari fans out there obviously there are because they keep making them so um yeah this one it may still be available I'm not 100% sure though and then they have a flocked animal and I'll say this real quick if you're into the flocked versions of characters that include the Muppets characters and Sesame Street characters it seems like you usually can find them on the Funko Shop or at a bookstore like Barnes & Noble or Books A Million. It seems like that's where they normally end up. So if you're into those flocked figures, that's probably where you should look for them. Either the Funko Shop or one of those bookstores. Okay, And then most recently here they had the Harley Quinn Super Deluxe Vinyl with the Christmas colors, which they only made 150 of them. 150, so that one is sold out that's the one that is gone despite the $80 price tag and that's without shipping yep it has sold out and it sold out pretty quickly and yes some people have already put it up on eBay no shocker there we know how that goes but yeah it's, it's really surprising that they only did 150 of these maybe it is because of the size and um, maybe it's just more complex to put together 
but yeah those have sold out so the only way you could get it is second market and I don't even know if that would be worth that price me personally the red and black one I'm fine with that one if I get that one eventually so yeah that, that's just my personal opinion and then as of today as of this recording again what became available is the Shira dwarves which is 3,000 pieces so again this one I, as far as I know is still available at this moment so that is the Funko Shop 12 Days of Christmas. Still two more days to go. So keep your eyes on the Funko Shop. If you're not signed up for the email, I would suggest that you do that. Because that's the easiest way to make sure you actually get items. Because popular items sell out in less than five minutes sometimes. I'm not exaggerating. So definitely make sure you are signed up for their email. And moving on here, a figure that's actually popping up in Walmart now. Because it is Walmart exclusive is the killer croc with the hood on my biggest piece of advice to you because I saw this figure listed on eBay and I took a close look at it please check the paint job if you're gonna pick up this figure because this figure has the same issues that the katana pop had where the the coloring on the face kinda bleeds into the hood so like I said just take a close look at the paint jobs try to find the best one the issue with katana was that she has that white headband on and I saw that a lot of with a lot of the katana pops the white of the headband was kind of bleeding into the black of her hair so again this killer croc has a similar issue so just be on the lookout for that take a good look there me personally I was so disappointed by the Suicide Squad movie I'm maybe I'm kind of over those figures I don't know killer croc hooded I, I really do like the look of it the only way I would get it though if, if I found it with a great paint job other than that I'm really not going to be too concerned about it because like I said the movie overall for me was a disappointment keeping it moving here and I hope you're all sitting down I hope you're not in shock right now I know this is unbelievable but yes there's more Batman on the way shocking right yeah I think I just busted the sarcasm meter <laughs> it seems like every time I do Funko News there's two or three more Batman releases that are coming up so but this is an awesome one I have to admit the super deluxe vinyl Batman figure which is scheduled to come out in February but remember though Funko's release dates don't seem to mean a lot in the grand scheme of things but that's when it's scheduled to come out come out I think this looks amazing that's definitely on my eventually to get list I don't know about that initial price which probably would be around $80 or so um, so yeah if I could find it eventually marked down I think that would be really nice to have but $80 for any one figure that's tough for me to wrap my mind around I just don't have it like that okay you know and I'm always that type instead of spending a bunch for one figure I tend to like to get kinda more bang for my buck I guess you would say and then they have these uh, Batman mystery minis. What's interesting about these, if you really notice here, the, these designs are based off of recent Batman pops. So the four Target exclusives, they have those as mystery minis. The two Hot Topic exclusives, which was the Zebra and um, I believe Bullseye Batman, they have those as mystery minis. And then those multicolored ones that they had, which sold either towards the end of last year or... Um, earlier this year I know I was seeing them in stores a lot they have those also as mystery mini so this is another item to me that I would probably only pick up a couple of boxes if I found them a good deal on them basically I don't think I would run and grab these up immediately they're cool but I don't think they're really like like must-haves for me now for some people I know that there are some must-haves here that super deluxe vinyl Batman Dan Bat Silva, my good friend Dan Bat Silva. I know he's already got his money ready for it <laughs> Now, Teen Titans fans and Teen Titans Go fans, if you're trying to be a completionist, good luck because they're steadily putting out Teen Titans figures at this point. As a matter of fact, they have a new pop figure, Jinx, who will be a Toys R Us exclusive. And if you're looking carefully at the boxes, all of these dorps here are Toys R Us exclusives. And then this is what's really interesting. You see that there are variants for three of the characters. So they have Raven in her classic colors and then they have the White Cloak Raven which surprisingly it seems like they're both going to be maybe distributed in the same amount of numbers because there's no additional sticker on that box but when you look at Beast Boy and Robin and you see that they have alternative colors there if you look carefully 
they have chase figures on those boxes or excuse me chase stickers on those boxes which means they are chase figures so yeah those are going to be rare to find it's already going to be rare because they're toys r us exclusives but then you put along with that that there are chase figures that are toys r us exclusives yeah these are going to be tough to get your hands on so again if you're a teen titans completionist i wish you the best of luck you got to really hunt these down so power rangers i've been talking about power rangers good but yet a lot of different releases coming up and um, they have Power Rangers Dorbs. I'm starting off here with just the Red Ranger. And you see there's a common one. And then there is a Chase version, which doesn't seem to be exclusive to any particular store. But it is a Chase Metallic Red Ranger Dorbs. And then they have the Mega Man, the common figure, and also a Chase Mega Man, which is with the green and white coloring. I'm sure that represents one of his many powers. I'm not familiar with the franchise enough to know which power that represents. But yeah, that's a Chase figure there as well. And like I said, there's more Power Rangers Dorbs. It's not just the Red Ranger. In fact, it's not just those two Red Rangers figure. There's going to be a glow in the dark Red Rangers figure or Dorbs, which is exclusive to Walmart. Okay, then they also have the Yellow Ranger in the Chase Metallic Yellow Ranger, the Pink Ranger in the Chase Metallic Pink Ranger, Blue and Black Ranger. Okay, just comments from all that I've seen so far. I don't know if there are going to be any metallic chases for them. And then if you want Rita Repulsa as a Dorbs, again, Toys R Us is where you got to go. Rita Repulsa Dorbs only at Toys R Us. As far as the pop figures go, of course, they had the new action poses of the Red Ranger, Pink Ranger, and the White Ranger. And then the Red Ranger metallic version, which is a Hot Topic exclusive. That one's selling already. I've seen a lot of people really happy that they grabbed it up online. And then they also had the Pink Ranger metallic at Hot Topic. I actually don't know if that one is released yet. But again, it will be a Hot Topic exclusive, the metallic Pink Ranger. And then Alpha 5, if you want Alpha 5, and you really got to know Power Rangers to know who Alpha 5 is. I mean, if you're just... If you just see things about Power Rangers here, here and there and you've never really watched the series or watched the old movie, then you really don't know Alpha 5. But yeah, for those of you that are fans of the series, you know who Alpha 5 is and he will be a Walmart exclusive. And I haven't seen any variants for him. I just know that that character, if you want him, Walmart is where to go. And I'm sorry that I have to keep saying Walmart exclusive because I know that makes some people cringe and I feel your pain. I don't have a lot of luck at Walmart either. Every once in a blue moon, I'll find something awesome there, but definitely not on a regular basis. So still not done with Power Rangers here. They also have Power Rangers pint size heroes and they also have Power Rangers pins, which apparently are kind of popular because when usually when I see these pin boxes, they're either sold out or they're almost sold out. So yeah, I guess some people really do like these pins and I, I think they are cute, the little um little mini toppers on them the little figures on there so they're, they're cool i can understand why people would buy these and by the way i'm not going to show images of them again but i've talked a lot recently about different um franchises that have pint sized heroes and mystery minis like the x-men uh, five nights at freddy's glow in the dark figures a lot of these are available now so if you're interested in these pint sized heroes and these minis get out there and look because i'm telling you a lot of them that i shared in recent videos they are available online and in stores right now so be on the lookout for those garbage pail kids this hits me with some nostalgia i know some people are very nostalgic about power rangers and mega man but this is one of those franchises that hits my nostalgia very strongly because i love the garbage pail kids cards and to me, they're the best thing. I've said this before. The best thing about Cabbage Patch Kids is that it did inspire the Garbage Pail Kids, you know, creation. So the Series 1 figures, I have just three of them that Michael Crowthers was nice enough to send to me. And he also sent me some cards more than once as well. So big shout out to Michael for doing that. And I actually still want to get some Series 1 figures, especially if I can catch them on sale. I don't know why I've never seen those boxes marked down. And I always see them at Walgreens, but hopefully eventually... I will catch those on sale so I can add some more to the Series 1 collection. And then I definitely want to get some of the Series 2 collection because there are some really great designs here. There are some gross designs too, of course, but you expect that with Garbage Pail Kids. So if you can stomach it, I think these are pretty unique figures. And they're very different from other Funko figures 
that you see the way they are designed. So I really do like that about them. I will say this real quick. Even though I'm nostalgic for the Garbage Pail Kids, I actually did like the live action movie when I was younger. But I've seen clips of that movie recently and I just kind of wonder why that movie didn't give me nightmares. Because those characters look so creepy. It's really unsettling. If you don't believe me, just take the time. Go and search it out on YouTube. Look up Garbage Pail Kids movie and just take a look at some clips. You'll see what I mean. And good luck sleeping after you check them out. So Game of Thrones fans, you, I don't even have to repeat it, but I, I'll just say real quick, you all know that I'm not a Game of Thrones fan. That's nothing against the series. I just never got into it. I don't have HBO or HBO Go or anything like that. And at this point, I don't think I would try to go back all the way through the series just because the, the sort of medieval setting with castles and dragons and all that doesn't really appeal to me a whole lot to begin with. So again, nothing against the series. I just don't really think it's for me. But if you are a fan of it, you see the different products coming up here. The um, Daenerys, Dorbs, the Drogon, Pocket Pop, the Jon Snow action figure. And that's not a reaction figure. It's a straight up action figure. That's why you see the sword separate there. So it, it does have a slight different design from it, you know, compared to reaction figures. And then um, Peter Dinklage's character, which I, I keep forgetting how to pronounce the character's name. I know it starts with a T. I'm not going to butcher it and have a bunch of Game of Thrones fans upset with me, though. So, uh, you know, out of respect, I'm not even going to try to pronounce his name. But there you see him with that um, the ice wall, which again, I don't know the series, so I really don't know what the ice wall is all about. But that set will be available and it has an HBO sticker on there. So I don't know if that's exclusive to like HBO online or what the deal is with that. But um, yeah, just be on the lookout for these different Game of Thrones figures if you are interested. Lady and the Tramp, this is something else that really hits my nostalgia because my family used to own this movie and I... I've probably rewatched this Disney movie almost more than any other Disney movie. I can't say that 100% for sure, but I know I've seen Lady and the Tramp a lot. And uh, if you're not familiar with the movie and you're a Disney fan, check it out. I mean, it's definitely worth it. If you have kids, I think it's a great movie to watch and very entertaining. You see that classic scene up there in the right, uh, the when they were eating spaghetti and they had that accidental kiss. Such a cute moment. And it's really just a cool movie. Uh, just the premise of the story, if you don't know about it, I'll tell you real quick. Lady, obviously, you can look at her and tell she came from a well-do family, very well taken care of, while the tramp, tramp as in homeless, basically, and struggling on the street and everything. And it's about how these two, you know, came together and formed a relationship and everything. So it's a very sweet movie, very interesting movie. I haven't watched it in a long time, even though I saw it a lot. I can't really give you a whole lot of details about it. But I don't think I should have to. Just check it out if you can. And you may have to explain to your kids. If you have kids and you let them check this out. And they've heard the word tramp before. Tell them. That, that, make sure you give them the proper definition of the word. Don't have them thinking that they're about to watch something else. I'll just say that. Okay. Some more Marvel items on the way. They have the Marvel Mymojis. Which I'm actually surprised these didn't exist already. I felt like I've been seeing a lot of different Mymojis. But apparently they didn't have these particular characters. And then they do have these lanyards as well. Which lanyards to me, I, I don't really see the point in collecting a whole bunch of them. I know a lot of people get them with subscription boxes. And you get them when you go to events like Comic Cons. But beyond wearing them at places like that. Where you like need to show some identification easily. I don't really see much purpose in having them. But... As far as lanyards go, these are some cool looking ones. And I do like they, that they come with not only the card there, but also the little uh, flat figure. I think they do look pretty cool. So, yeah, as far as lanyards go, these are pretty cool ones. Quick side note here. If you have not yet watched the Spider-Man Homecoming trailer, check that out. Please make sure that you check that out. And also, don't forget to check out the international versions as well. There might be more than one international version Definitely make sure that you check them out so that you can check out some different um, footage, you know, some different images from the movie. And I feel like the, uh, the trailer that they did a great job with it, I don't think is giving away too much. I know some people avoid trailers altogether because they don't want spoilers. Me personally, I don't think there's any big spoilers in it. It's already out there in the news like crazy that Iron Man is going to be a part of this movie. And by the way, that final shot, cover your eyes if you don't want to see it yet. That blew me away. <laughs> I just, I love that moment so much. I really wanted to jump out of my seat. 
Spider-Man, Iron Man together. That is just awesomeness incarnate. <laughs> it is so cool. I cannot wait for this movie. I might actually do a, a separate video where I talk about my thoughts about Spider-Man Homecoming as well as what they're going to do with the future of the franchise. Things that I would like to see, things that I would have liked to have seen. You know, that's a video I would like to work on in the very near future here. Okay, moving on here. I don't have actual figures to show you because they're I don't even know if they've been produced yet but Funko is going to do DC bombshells as pop figures now they did have and when I say they I'm talking about a different company uh, Cryptozoic they did the little DC bombshell figures which are pretty awesome and I have all of the ones that I want out of that series but I'm definitely looking forward to see what Funko does with the DC bombshells and if you're not familiar with them real quick it's basically just the female characters from DC comics and they've done them in sort of a pinup style it's sort of that throwback style to uh the world war ii era when um guys would have the pinup calendars and the images of women on their planes and all of that so it's very much inspired by that but it started off with artwork and then spawned an actual comic book series and multiple comics so yeah i'm really looking forward again to see what funko does with this and i hope they give us more characters that we haven't seen or at least give us those affordable versions because there are a lot of awesome DC bombshells statues but again uh, that that eighty dollars per item is just not something that I can swing you know if you can handle that you know more power to you but for me personally eighty items per or more per figure or statue is just not something that I can do so that's why I'm really hoping Funko delivers very well with these pop figures I've already heard from Cat D that there is going to be a Harley Quinn chase figure. I hope that it's that there will be a common version of Harley Quinn as well. Because if they only do Harley Quinn as a chase figure, that really to me wouldn't make much sense. So I'm hoping that there is a common and then a chase. And of course, I would love to have both of them. I don't even know what they look like yet, but such a Harley Quinn fan, I'm definitely going to be on the lookout to see what those look like. And then some more news here, which I don't have images for, but I'm going to share this because a lot of people are talking about these and excited about these announcements. Star Wars is going to have a huge year next year. Not only does Episode 8 come out, and of course there's going to be a series of figures for Episode 8. They're also doing some other things as well. There's finally going to be Star Wars Mystery Minis, which by the way, because of Disney's deal with Funko, I wouldn't be surprised if these are bobbleheads. But regardless, we finally get Star Wars Mystery Minis, which is cool. They'll have new plush figures. Um, like I already said, Episode 8. They're going to have Phasma and Kylo Ren Hikari figures. Again, I just want to see what these are going to look like. I think they'll look pretty interesting. And really hoping that Captain Phasma has more of a presence in Episode 8. I, I heard that she does. I hope that's true. Because the character looks so cool, but she really didn't do much of anything in Episode 7. Okay, there's going to be more Pop Deluxe Spaceships and Beasts. I'm not completely sure what they mean by that. And maybe they're talking about along the lines of how they did with the Rancor pack. And then um, I can't remember the name of that other character like the Snow Beast from um, Episode 5, I believe. So they're going to have more Beasts, but I'm really interested to see what they do with the spaceships. Because, yeah, that's long overdue for Funko to put out some Star Wars spaceships. And also, they're going to be 40th anniversary surprises. So, if you're a huge Star Wars fan, start saving every penny that you can. You might want to start eating Chef Boyer D. You know, cut back on how much you spend on food. You know, just cut costs wherever you have to because there's going to be so much coming out next year. And <laughs> I, I wish you the best. Now, the other news that they released, their day two news that came from the CEO, the head of Funko, to me is kind of non news because we already know pretty much any major movie they do Funko Pops for. So none of this to me is very surprising, but I'll still go ahead and read these off for you quickly. Um, Ghost in the Shell, Valerian, The Mummy, Alien Covenant, War for the Planet of the Apes, Boss Baby, The Dark Tower, and Despicable Me 3. And also along with these um, different movies, these different franchises, there may be other types of figures as well, but they're definitely going to be pop figures. Again, let me give you some advice with movie trailers. Definitely check out check out the trailer for War of the Planet of the Apes if you haven't already. That's a really good one. And Boss Baby looks pretty funny too because it has the voice of Alec Baldwin, you know, doing a, a baby's voice. That That's going to be 
pretty funny so um yeah check those out and i'm definitely looking forward to whenever they drop a trailer for the dark tower because that's long overdue for them to um adapt that story from stephen king which i really did enjoy the dark tower novel i think it may have been a series of novels i can't remember for sure but i know i've read um dark tower before and i really did enjoy it so as far as the funko news goes that's it for you all this week um i still want to hear from you all like usual i want to hear what of these figures that i've shared in this video you're interested in what are you looking forward to as always if there's anything that i missed please let me know you know to help out the community on what's coming up and um yeah, I want to hear what's on your Christmas list, too. What are the things that you're hunting for right now? You know, what are you trying to make sure that you have up under your Christmas tree, so to speak? <laughs> you know, me personally, I've been treated so well by the community. Um, I did an unboxing from Gigi, which was epic. That's why I called it an epic unboxing. And if you haven't watched it, check it out because Gigi is amazing. I mean, I still can't believe everything that she sent me. It was literally like Christmas. Um, so please check that out because she sent me two boxes and then actually in, inside of one of those boxes was a subscription box that she passed along to me. I mean, it was like an unboxing within an unboxing. It was like the the inception of unboxings, you know. So, yeah, Gigi really hooked me up. And then there are other people that have sent me items as well. I've recorded these unboxings, but I got to edit them and then I'll be posting those over the next couple of days. So do be on the lookout for those. So really my focus for... The rest of this month is really on trying to give back to people that have looked out for me and then also some random acts of kindness as well i would like to do so these items that you see here on the screen i just kind of left these up from last time but and i did change it up just a little bit but i can wait on these you know if i don't get these right away or you know it's just not a big deal to me because i've already been treated so well by the community and i keep on saying you can't have it all there are some things you just have to let go so if I don't get all this, I'll be okay, you know, because already I've, I've been blessed. So uh, I do want to say real quick, though, those of you that got your hands on that stealth Spider-Man, congratulations, because a lot of people are grabbing that one up. That's probably like the hottest item right now this week. A lot of people are grabbing it up. And unfortunately, a lot of flippers are grabbing it up, too. I know it's already going for resale. And that kind of disheartens me a little bit just because it's such an awesome pop figure and people immediately grab it to resell that's so not cool in my book and it's not even taking it not even really respecting the work because again it's a great looking figure and uh, it is one that i do hope that i can get eventually in fact one of my friends is on the lookout for that for me and i really do appreciate that so much you know and this kindness a lot of people tell me all the time you don't have to pay me back but i i like to pay people back i like to try to do as much as i can even though i am restrained restrained at times you know as far as budget goes but i i do like to try to look out people that look out for me because it just means so much to me but yeah um again share your thoughts down in the comments if you just wanted the funko news that is it i've wrapped you know i'm wrapping that up here and if you want to check out at this point you just wanted the funko news that's all good i completely understand but for the rest of you i do want to give some updates here so i am going to move on and get into those right now so first of all here my power comics giveaway one week left actually less than a week because the actual drawing is going to be done I may end up doing it actually Friday after work. That'll probably be easiest for me. And then that'll give me time to do my editing and everything on Saturday and have the video up for you all by Saturday evening. So, yeah, like I said, time is really running low on that. So if you have not entered that giveaway, I will link the video down below. You can go back to it, see exactly what you need to do to be involved in that giveaway. And there is an opportunity for extra entries as well. So please get on that because it's really less than a week that you have time to get in on the drawing again check for the video down in the link and before I move on let me remind you all or at least tell some of you for the first time this giveaway is really about supporting this store power comics which is located in Conway South Carolina it's my favorite comic book shop um, one of my favorite stores all together I'm trying to support them as much as possible and when you see the giveaway uh, what you need to do for it, you'll understand how this does help them out so that's what this is really about and it's just something nice to do this time of year to do a giveaway for you know at least one person in the community will have this prize and I'm not even gonna say what the prize is please check out the video 
Now, finally here, I want to talk about this, something I've been mulling over for the past couple of weeks, and I finally decided that I think this is something that needs to be done. I am going to set up a new channel, and let me say this right away. If anybody has ever set up a second YouTube channel and you have any advice for me, please share it with me because this is going to be new for me. I haven't done this before. I don't even know what it looks like to set up a new channel or you know how it looks to manage a new channel so again if you know anything about it you got any advice please let me know but the main reason why I feel this is necessary for one thing is because of my poetry my poetry to me is it's very personal is um, I think my main talent um, you know I, I just put a lot of thought into a lot of care into it it really does mean a lot to me so I intentionally stopped posting poems on my channel about a month ago it may have been over a month ago and I was kind of waiting to see if anybody would take notice. And I think the only person that said anything to me about it was my longtime friend. This this is a friend that I didn't meet through YouTube. This is a friend I've had for over 10 years who does check out my channel. In fact, she only checks out my channel for the poetry. And she was wondering what was going on. And I, I just let her know that I wanted to take the poetry away from the channel and see if anybody would say anything about it. And by the way, I'm not putting down anybody for this. This is something I needed to do as a content creator because I need to see what I need to do with my channel. So the fact that nobody really said anything about the poetry missing lets me know that this is really not the place for it any longer. So I'm gonna set up a separate channel which will focus on my poetry and it'll have other focuses as well. So I'm not gonna stop doing poetry altogether. I'm just not gonna do it on this particular channel anymore. This particular channel is gonna stay focused on collectibles, um, pop culture you know collectibles and anything with pop pop culture and then everything else will go to this other channel so the other channel will also focus on poetry writing projects relationship talk which a lot of my um, books that I've written in the past and a lot of my poetry has been about relationship talk and this includes personal experiences and just things that I've witnessed I also want to do vlogs on there if there are some vlogs that I feel are relevant to um, pop culture maybe or things I think people on this channel would be interested in so, you know subscribers on this channel then I will share it here it really just depends video by video basis and then um, also I want to do some Q&A's with some advice just things that I've learned throughout my life and uh, just giving my opinions it's not like I'm a professional I'm not a psychologist or anything like that but I just want to share my own personal experiences and maybe that'll help out some other people relating to relationships and also like living with anxiety which is something that I do live with and I've learned to live with you know so if I can help anybody out in any way with any of my experiences that's something I really want to do.